Hello awesome people. Happy Valentine's Day. You're joining Shikila Devi Purama, founder of Long Rehab Voyage and My Vibes. I'm a palm rehab specialist in COPD and interstitial lung disease. I have many hats. To know more about me, please visit my website longrehabvoyage.com. Today on this Valentine's Day, as I care for my people with chronic lung disease and mental health issues, I'm going to shed light on and create awareness on occupational lung disease in the United Kingdom. And the sources are taken from the Task Force for Lung Health. Why we talked about this today? Occupational lung disease is a major cause of work-related ill health. To create a safe working environment, it is essential we need to understand how many people are experiencing work-related breathing and lung problems and why. What is occupational lung disease? Occupational lung disease results from exposure to hazardous workplace chemicals, dust and fumes, which result in a wide range of life-threatening or adversely life-changing conditions. Types of occupational lung disease include COPD, asthma, lung cancer, asbestosis-related lung disease, pneumoconiosis, allergic alveolitis, silicosis, and infectious disease. Current data on occupational lung disease is lacking despite an estimated 450,000 plus cases of occupational lung disease between 2015 and 2018 being recorded. Health and Safety Executive estimates that 15% of all COPD cases are attributable to work. Taking those data, the current estimate for the number of people living with COPD in the UK is 3 million, which would mean 450,000 people are living with work-related lung disease just from COPD alone. Rates of lung disease are not improving. In this slide, you can see the number of cases of occupational lung disease reported in different data sets. The different data sets are from the LFS in 2017, uh, LFS stands for Labour Force Survey and the death registers, the annual death which uh, has a death certificate with a fraction of the deaths attributed to respiratory condition and the IIDB that is industrial injuries. Based on the data from the Labour Force Survey, the industrial injuries disabling benefit, the health and occupational research network, at least 100,000 cases, that is 72% reported, don't have, from the Labour Force Survey, don't have a recorded follow-up, either seeking disability benefit or visiting a chest physician. As the data confirms, not all cases reported by Labour Force Survey have accurate diagnosis of occupational lung disease, treatment and follow-up. The Task Force for Lung Health recommend we need to follow up studies to understand health outcomes of people reporting breathing and lung problems through the Labour Force Survey. This should include a breakdown of those who went on to receive a diagnosis and treatment, suffer long-term illness or make a full recovery. The task force recommendation calls for a reduction in the number of new cases as well as reduction in the incident rate, that is the rate of new cases as a proportion of the working population. Further, the task force recommendation are improve the awareness of and compliance with the control of substances hazardous to health regulation 2002, the cause regulation, to prevent and control workplace exposures. If you suffer from work-related breathing problems, actions to take is to notify your employer, make an appointment with your GP for further investigation and diagnosis, call British Lung Foundation. If you are a member of trade union, seek advice from union rep to make a safe working environment. 
If you suffer from any of the lung conditions, especially the obstructive lung conditions, COPD, asthma, interstitial lung disease, or the other occupational lung disease which is mentioned in this video, please get in touch with Lung Rehab Voyage and Mind Wipes to manage a care plan for both your lung and your mind. DM on the number on the slide 0333-224-186 or drop them. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to help promote awareness of occupational lung disease. Take care of your lung to extend your lifeline.